Hey Dream Media listeners, I am John. Welcome to my home theater. This is going to be a 9.4.6 setup and I am very excited to show you kind of phase two of where we are in the, we've done the demo, we've done the construction, about ready to put in the speakers and come with me and I'll show you some tips along the way that might help you save some money and just show you the journey of where we're at and what we're looking forward to. Welcome. All right, so we are on kind of a phase two of this project. And if you remember, this was a half wall here, and now it's a full wall because we have to make our enclosure, our room within a room out here. And so my stairwell, we have, we're going with kind of an art deco type uh, thing. What I plan on doing on this wall is having a digital movie poster. So either it will be tied into the movie that's playing with Kaleidoscape. A lot of times people are so excited they want to get, whether it's just a room in their house or a, a, a full dedicated uh, a setup like, like I have, uh, they, they, just want to, they just want to get into it. I have some stuff, let's get it set up, let's go. The more you can plan, you know, some people are just not planners and I, I really, I, I almost over plan is just, and that's why Dream Media is really been able to, like I've said in the past, hold my hand through this, is just having a plan before you start because mistakes can happen along the way, but you really want to reduce as much potential for mistakes. So having that plan set up, deciding if you're gonna have that acoustical transparent screen, because that means you're gonna need to build out a false wall in front of that. Just things like that that you need to have ready so you're not backtracking, so you're not having to uh, spend more money. And here we are. So the last time we were together, this was a half wall here, and this wasn't an enclosed space. So now we've, we've narrowed it a little bit, and by narrowing the walls, what we accomplished is we were able, because this was more of an A-frame, so by narrowing the walls, we actually were able to create taller side walls, which we needed for the front wides and the surrounds. And so now we have a little bit taller walls and uh, I still, and I had uh, width to play with to buffer that, so that, that was good. And it also provided more storage space by going uh, smaller. I also have a nice storage space for all sorts of things. And, uh, you know, probably even fit some bean bags in there. We have three arches that will, and that's just kind of a, that was just kind of a motif choice, a, um, an aesthetic choice. But what we will be doing is putting Phillips hue lighting behind these arches. So what it will give an effect of is kind of a floating panel arch that goes like 180 degree, 80 degrees around. So there'll be lighting on both sides of those uh, paneled arches all the way over. The can lights were installed recently. The can lights are DMF lighting and they're amazing lights. They're very modular. Stick one type of lens in, there's different beam widths, but also if you can see this, this one over here, see how this far left light here is actually pointed down towards the, uh, an angle, uh, the, the angle of the wall. So they, not only do they articulate, the thing that really got my attention with the DMF lighting is that it's rated down to 1% increments. And it can dim down to only 1% without flickering because of the driver that's installed in the light. So you can have that, that movie theater effect by just having a little bit of lighting on before the movie starts, and you can dim it down very, very gradually. So when I found out that they guarantee that 1% increment, I was sold, because usually like on the inside of my, just in my house, you try to get it down to even 15%, and, and, and the lights will start flickering, and you don't have that effect with these lights. Everything's pre-wired, ready to go in. We have insulation. So these are, it's kind of created a wall, uh, a room within a room here. So this has been double insulated all the way through. That has insulation on that wall. 
The ceiling is all insulated. We have our Atmos speakers ready to go in. We have our four new vents, uh, HVAC vents uh, return there. Now we've also dropped the ceiling down. So if you look up there, you'll see the original ceiling that, ha that was more narrow, but we dropped that down so it increased the width. And what, by increasing the width, it gave us room for our Atmos speakers because I was at 13 feet, dropped it down to 11 feet. For the uh, projector lift, the projector will be, be, will, will be able to go up so we have more of a clean lines when, when the movie is not playing. And, uh, and then yeah, then it will, it will drop down when it's go time. And by having it here, instead of installing it at the back, which is a lot of times what you will do, I was a little nervous for brightness and sharpness, even though I, I'm, I'm getting a JVC 3100, it's plenty powerful enough. I was just concerned going all the way back. I wanted to maximize brightness on the screen. So I wanted the projector to be a little bit closer and then that provided a few challenges and we decided using a projector lift would be the best way to, to solve some of that. We have a new floor and we have a new riser. So in here, this is a 15 inch riser and access panel here. We did a lot of the Smurf tubing. If you come here, you can see we have the Smurf tubing all the way through the walls, through the floors, through the riser. So if I was to open this right now and it will have an easy latch once the carpet is installed, that's where all of the uh, the networking cables, uh, all of the ethernet cables, the, the electrical cables can all go through there and it all has that big Smurf tubing conduit. So if I needed to pull more through or I need, if I decided I wanted to be able to hardwire two laptops at the same time or whatever is gonna be going on in this room, it has the capability of expanding for that. I would say lay as much that the Smurf tubing, the conduit, so what you to future proof things, make sure you just more conduit than you think you would need. You don't know the type of cables that are going to come out. So whether that's in your ceiling or in your floors, uh, as much conduit as you can, if you're routing to different rooms, because you do not want to tear up a riser, you do not want to tear up your floors. So lay the conduit first, even if it's going to be empty for three years, eventually you're going to fill that up and you're going to be thankful that you had that conduit with a pull string and making it much more simple and you didn't have to ruin the effort that, that you put in originally. What we will have is even though we have black painted walls and this is the Sherwin-Williams tricorn, nothing beats velvet. So what we're going to do is we're going to have fabric mate will install velvet all the way up to the edge of this arch. So the ceiling, the side walls, which is about four and a half feet into the room, plus the front wall will all have the Fidelio velvet, which in my opinion is the best velvet you can put. It's actually the Fidelio, Fidelio velvet is used in a, on a lot of screen frames. So we have that same velvet going on the side and front walls just to absorb as much light as possible before you have the, the regular paint scheme. This was actually a counter. If you look back in the first video, there was a counter in here, um, a, little, a little bar, a little uh, cabinet setup. So again, this is just another spot where we can uh, put throw pillows or blankets or just things that, that might be needed for the, the theater space. One of the phases will be to put a kitchenette actually in that back closet a sink and just uh, you know a microwave for popcorn, nothing too crazy. I'm super excited. Everything is, it's kind of like um, if you've ever built a house or uh, been around that, it's like the framing goes quick, the drywall goes quick, but then when it gets to like the electrical work and all of the, the fine tuning and all of the, just the trim work, it really slows down because you're just getting into the, the finessing thing. So now that I'm about ready to uh, get Dream Media to come out here and install, you know, all of the goodies, all of the gear, all of the electronics, I'm ready. I'm, I'm definitely ready for that stage and seeing that kind of take life. Uh, the, mo the most recent thing we had done was, or uh, install that was done a couple days ago was uh, the Philips Hue lighting will be under both sets of steps. So on the far side and on this side, 
has the Philips Hue, which of course can be any color of the rainbow. And that's done on both steps and going back down into the eventual kitchenette right now, just going to a um, closet. Once we get the tower speakers in, we have the Focal Sopras going in as my left and right. Um, we got the, the Atmos 1000s, 1000s for the rears. These are all the same, all part of the same Focal 1000 line. Um, yeah, we're ready to rock and roll. I'm excited about the process. I'm excited where we are. And now I just have to have a little patience as all those little fine details need to happen right now. I'm very happy with this, how this turned out. So uh, going up the stairs, we have a waterproof vinyl and it's the same here. And this, and then of course in the center will be the carpet. So we just, that we figured this would be the best way to trim it. I've worked one-on-one -on -one with Kellen on all of this. Uh, whether it be a text or a quick email, um, any concerns that I had. Uh, we, we're using um, acoustics for all of our acoustical panels. They're in another country. So not only do they, are, are they on a different time, in a different time zone, obviously, uh, they also have different holidays. Because of Dream Media being the intermediary, uh, it, it was no problem. He said, I'm gonna get in touch with them. We'll get this figured out because they're you know, calculating its, its math and they're trying to figure out the room and how everything is bouncing and how it's gonna be absorbed or refracted or diffused. So um, yeah, any questions that I've had or any concerns um, that will come up, because I'll be lying in bed at night, I'm like, I didn't think about this. You know, and then I'll, you know, I'll text Kellen real quick and he's like, no, 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 because he's already thought about it. He had answers right away from me every time. And if there was ever um, a situation where he wasn't, sure what my vision was, then we just talked through it. And if we needed a 15 to 20 minute conversation, that was fine. If I needed to grab my phone and do a FaceTime and update him and see how things are, very responsive and set my mind to ease a few times. You know, hotline, 911 Kellen, what about this? And he's like, oh, don't worry about it. We have this all figured out because of A, B, and C, X, Y, and Z is not gonna be a problem. Like, oh, okay, well, that's helpful when you have someone like that to just help you through, through the journey. Very good communication and I've enjoyed every step along the way, and I can't wait to get Kellen and Zach back in here because they haven't seen this since, since before the demo. So it's gonna be fun to get them in here and blast a you know, Top Gun Maverick on the Kaleidoscape in here. I'm thinking Empire Strikes Back needs to be first, right? You gotta do Star Wars first to, to christen the theater. But one of those first five movies, <laughs> probably should be Top Gun Maverick because um, you know you want you want this type of environment to uh, show the respect for such an amazing endeavor. I've already done a custom couch that's going to go here and then four, uh, um, four of the Valencia Tuscany Ultimate Luxury seats here. I've already paid for customized b uh, bar table that will go the length of the couch. Unfortunately the D-Box wouldn't work well in here because I've already I've already purchased all of the furniture, but I do have a thought in my, in my media room where we, I have a, uh, just like a, a 65 inch OLED and uh, we have a couch in there, but behind the couch, there is space for at least a single D-Box seat. That's legit. Now that is a 4D experience. Yeah, that D-Box was incredible. I mean, it, it takes base shakers and transducers to another level, you know, you can dial it down or you can ramp it up where it feels like a roller coaster. And it, it was incredible and way less gimmicky than I thought it would be. It, it just provides, it's just the next level. It, it was more than just a vibrating seat. I mean, you were part of the action. This, it's never over, right? Uh, home theater, the home theater journey, it, you never stop. You're always looking for that next fix, that next thing to enhance, whether it's in the sound or the sights, you're always doing something. Okay guys, well, that is where we are at this point. Thank you for being with me as I showed you kind of phase two, as we're getting excited into phase three and actually getting the gear installed, because that's the hopefully the next video. So thanks again. Um, hopefully you found this great and beneficial. And like always, I've already done it, but smash that subscribe button, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And uh, we'll get Zach and Kellen in here soon and uh, we'll make this a big party.